There is a man of venerable life, Benedict blessed by grace and by name, who leaving home and patrimony and desiring to please God alone, sought out the habit of holy living. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made the abbot St. Benedict an outstanding master in the school of divine service, grant we pray that putting nothing before love of you, we may hasten with a loving heart in the way of your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princess of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord. I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless offerings. Your incense is lonesome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, Updates with wickedness, this I cannot bear. Your new moons and festi festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the Lord, Lord of the Lord. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your own. Re redress the wrong. Hear the orphan's plea. Defend the widow. The word of the Lord. Our sponsorial song, to the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no ghost out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? 
Though you hate the discipline and cast my words behind you, I will show the same When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you see that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. Yeah. Yeah, right. I will show the saving power. Apostles, do not think I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come, for I have set, come to set a man against his brother, against his father, and a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is a righteous man will receive a righteous man's reward. Whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because he is my disciple, amen I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished giving these commandments to his twelve disciples, he went away from that place to teach and preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Our Lord reminds us that the desire is for that unity where everyone is for God, where father and mother and children are all for God. The disunity comes when they have separate ideas or separate ways where they aren't necessarily for God. For God is that great one to be at the first of our lives and first of everything we do. But even when that is the case, even when we have that desire to keep God first in our lives, we can have strife and disagreements. And that's why St. Benedict has his great rule of life for those in his life. That he was able to have his monastery have those great rules that many other religious orders follow as well. And it's because that even though people are all focusing on the Lord, at times they forget and focus on themselves or forget how they are to behave in community, giving everything to one another. How much more so in our life, in our household, to say that, yes, we might have a common mission of 
being a feminine, living a feminine, but at times those things can get warped and change and people can be against one another. But through it all, the Lord reminds us to come to God so that we might do things in charity, do things in love out of our relationship with the Lord, have a relationship with our sisters and brothers based on the love that God has given to us that we in turn are able to receive from God and give to others. My dear sisters and brothers, when things become difficult, both in family life and in life in general, let's continue to turn to God and let us remind ourselves how God has put himself in our lives as that great center, as that source and summit, so that we might have that strength to endure those difficult things in our lives, but even more so love those things that the Lord has put in our midst. My dear sisters and brothers, eager to be counted among the righteous, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. <clears throat> that prophetic words may guide churches in fidelity to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That faithful witnesses may form the baptized in service, may form the baptized in service to the world, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That wise teachings may lead students to knowledge of truth, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That righteous deeds may form communities steeped in justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord that abundant water may sustain communities threatened by drought or pollution, we pray to the Lord. Lord that caring touch may bring healing to bodies and spirits in pain, we pray to the Lord. Lord Let us pray for Howard Ucha and for peace in Ukraine when we remember this Mass today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, that doors open may welcome the dead into the eternal homeland. We pray to the Lord. Lord, and for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. God. For the end of abortion, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. God. For the suffering souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. God. That we will develop more the, the spirit of gratitude, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord God. God. For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God in judgment, your word divides right from wrong, true from false, and a man's justice in the face of oppression. Free us from what holds us back from following, the, following Christ's commands, that we may receive the little ones he sends as heroes of your righteous rule. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth that work of human hands, but he come for us, the bread of life. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Christ, Bless you, Himself to share in our communion.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly, Lord, upon these offerings, these holy offerings, which we make in honor of Saint Benedict, and grant that, following his example in seeking you, we may merit the gifts of unity in your service and of peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. And by their intercession, sure support. So that encouraged by so great a crowd of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, our God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and each of us, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We mean thanks to held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Help me, we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring you to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. We are also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marriage be co heirs of eternal life, 
We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed Lord. And the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the feet of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be.
This is the steward, faithful and prudent, who the Lord set over his household, to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. <clears throat> Having received the pledge of eternal life, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that attended to the teaching of St. Benedict, we may faithfully serve your designs and love one another with fervent charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Do let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, our world, and of our community. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Do let's pray for our mother and brothers. Mother of our mothers, holy queen. Chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, in your maternity, as a forsaken of life, the state of the Lord, employ me and come to you, humbly I beseech you, confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, and I love all of our mission. Help me, my Lord. In you I take refuge to your virgin, for in me I place my own entire intent. Mother of 